Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel and today I am here to talk about my March TBR. Just really quick before we start, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you did. This is a channel that is as diverse as my mind and I bring to you books, movies, Harry Potter, nerd stuff, clothes, weight loss, anything of that matter. It's all on my channel. So if you guys want to see any of that, please check down below and subscribe again. Thank you guys so much. So let's get into these books. Now, if you guys checked out my February reads, which I will, of course, link down below for you guys to check out and probably put an eye up there. Um, I originally was going to combine both of those, um, but they I ended up talking too much. I don't and I didn't know how much I was going to edit out. So instead, I just made a separate video um, shortly after finishing the last audiobook that I read. I just have or shortly after reading American Wedding, which I talked about in my reads, but I'm also going to do a, a separate video about. Um, I just decided to look at the books that I had on Goodread that um, were supposed to come out this year and see if there was one that also was on my hoopla for audiobooks. And I came across Freshwater by Akwesi Emenzi. Uh, did I say her name right? Akwe, yeah, uh, wait. Akweke? A W A E K E. Cannot pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. But it's Emenzi and it's called Freshwater. And so far from what I'm getting, it's about a young girl who was born with both sides. Look, it's so confusing right now. I can't even give you guys like a description of what it's about. So check my blog. I will have been able to give you a better description or like a synopsis of the book there. But right now I'm 15 minutes in and it's weird. The best thing is though, it is, it is read by the author. So that's pretty cool because I don't have to worry about trying to pronounce some of the things that I know I would have difficulty pronouncing. As I also still like torturing myself, I will finish a King's, uh, the King's Cage by Victoria Aviard. That will also be an audiobook, just because I don't even feel like going to the library to get that book. I just don't. Um, but this takes place after Mare is taken as prisoner um, by King Maven. And this is after, yeah. So if you guys haven't read the series, I won't spoil it. But I will also state that in my last reads, I talked about how with this particular series, I had hopes for it. It just seemed like the premise was really, really good and it had the potential to give me a really strong female character. But I feel like like maybe her development is gonna happen throughout the series. So instead of quitting, though I'm disappointed, I'm gonna continue with the series and hopefully by the time what I think the next book comes out, I will have a better opinion and give you like a full idea about the series and things in a video. The next book that I'm actually picking up today is uh, Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. It's still one of those books that I keep hearing people talk about and rave about. And I was lucky enough to get this book for my birthday. Um, so this is the next book that I am tackling and I'm very excited. It's about women in World War II. So historical fiction. I've been on a historical fiction tip. could see myself like collecting some more of these. But um, after reading Victoria, I'm more than excited to read about this book. The next book on my March TBR list is a book that is actually on pre-order and it is Children of Blood and Bones Legacy of Arissa number one by Tomei Adiyame and it is a book I've already talked about I think a bajillion times already if not just on my snapchat on here as well and I really don't know what the premise of this story is I chose not to look it up but it's been receiving a lot of accolades and stuff as like a pre thing and it comes out March 6th. So I should be getting the book because I ordered it off Amazon. I should be getting it March 7th. So hopefully I'm done with Nightingale by then so that I can jump right into that book because I am so excited to read it. The next book on my TBR is another book that I got for my birthday and it is Timekeeper by Tara Sim. It's again, like I said before, Victorian, Timekeeper, Clockwork, Steampunk. It gives me all of that vibe and I really like the cover and um... <laughs> This is gonna sound ridiculous, but I was in Barnes and Nobles today looking for a book, duh. And I saw The Chain Breakers, which is the second book, and the cover looks so pretty, y'all. So I feel like I'm gonna have to continue, I'm gonna have to continue with paperback because the covers are really pretty, but I want them to be uniform when I get them. So since I already have this book, I wanna get the next one. So I gotta read the first book to see if it's worth actually investing in. But yeah, Timekeeper. The next book that I'm reading is more of like a self-help business kind of book and it is Soar. Um, I forgot the full title, but it's by T.D. Jakes. 
I watched a Breakfast Club interview where he was talking about this book. I also listened to a podcast called Blessed and Bossed Up, which is a black female entrepreneur podcast that talks about the things that you need to do when starting your business, um, ways to ensure that God is the CEO of your business. And me, I am in the works of trying to start my own business. So I've really been like, just like, inhaling knowledge and trying to really understand what I'm about to do because it's like the most nerve-wracking feeling ever so I've been looking for this book I went to Barnes and Nobles today and the one that I went to did not have it um but I will be going to another one tomorrow or I I might get the Kindle version I'm still not sure I kind of want to be able to annotate in it so I feel like I need to have it physically in my hand so that is a book that I will be reading and I will be reading that like while I'm reading all my other books. So I'll let you know how it is. The next book that I wanna read is A Kota Witch by Nanende Okorafor. Like I said in my February reads, I was a little on the fence when it came to the Binti series. Um, I gave it a three out of five, but I am interested enough in this author to keep reading. I started following her on Instagram and it's really funny because if you haven't seen Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, you need to because, uh, dude, like, I got my entire life about that freaking movie. And um, it's because of reading her book that I noticed that one of the tribes in the Black Panther movie was representing the Himba tribe. So it's like I kind of felt like, you know, she kind of gave me like an extra boost because I like made that known to my friends. And they were like, oh, my gosh, you're so right, you know. So um, because of that, I just. I want to read more of her stuff. I want to see what she's talking about. And my friend, one of my friends is obsessed with her. She's given me like four or five books to read that are specifically by her. So don't be surprised if you see her in like every other book video for a while until I get tired of reading her. The next book that I want to read is Still Me by Jojo Moyes. And of course, this is after me, or this is before me, after me, and now it's Still Me. Uh, this is one of those series that originally... I actually watched the movie first because it was free on Amazon Prime and I was like clearly trying to torture myself with love stories and after like boohoo crying at one point I realized I wanted to read the book so I read the first book and I liked it I read the second book and I loved it so then I'm like well I'm just gonna keep reading her I'm gonna keep reading the story I know that to some people this story is like whatever but I don't know it's one of those like feel good reads for me kind of the way that people who read hardcore like horror and stuff switch to contemporary fiction to make themselves happy like I read these books in between because they are a extremely quick reads and b like I don't know I just they're, they make me feel good. Even when the bad stuff is happening in the book, it makes me feel good when I read them. So I'm going to read that too. Okay, guys. So that is the end of my March TBR. My question to you guys is, which do you like better? Do you like hardcover, paperback, or Kindle? I would like to know because I've been having this debate with someone and we are at an impasse because A, Kindle, you can hold all the books but like books you can actually hold. You know what I mean? So I'm asking that question to you guys. Let me know down below in the comment section. Again, thank you guys so much for checking my checking out my channel. For those who are wondering, this is Colored Rain Blue Dragon. I will link the video down below where I did swatch videos for that. And until the next time, guys, bye.